The Bible says he didn't take a stone and a slingshot and walked in the middle of the field. So Goliath, you over there, come over here. I'm going to deal with you right now. I'll finish you. The Bible says he didn't do that. He went to the man who was in charge. David went through proper channels before going to Goliath. The second thing is very important. I'm sharing with you secrets that will revolutionize your life. And I'm sharing them for free. And we have no offering tonight. <laughs> to those of you who come in churches after my money, we have no offering tonight. It's free. But it's going to change your life. This is going to change your life. The second thing, the most important before you can deal with the demons is you have to deal with the authority in your life. It hit me this week how David did not skip Saul before he destroyed Goliath. Saul was a bad man. Saul was no longer anointed. Saul, Saul was no longer the man he used to be. Saul was a coward. Saul was supposed to be defeating Goliath 40, 40 days ago. Saul disobeyed God, disobeyed Samuel, disappointed God and disappointed Samuel. He, he let his whole country down. Saul is the man that if I and you would have been David walked in and said, I have the word from the Lord. You're a coward and you should resign tomorrow. Because he was a bad man. He was one of those authority people you don't want to be around. But it's interesting that David doesn't go to face Goliath until he first goes and he deals with Saul. The way he deals with the toxic people, he walks away. The way he deals with the authority is this. He doesn't rebuke the authority, though it should have been rebuked. He asks permission to go fight. You cannot walk in the authority of God if you don't walk under the authority of God. Period. Demons will not listen to your rebuke if you don't listen to your parents' rebuke. You can walk around and scream, I bind you devil, I bind you devil, I bind you devil. But if you don't honor your authority, demons have no right to submit to yours. The first thing people mention about Jesus' preaching is not the eloquence of his speech or how amazing his illustrations were with the birds and the seeds. The Bible says when he spoke, they all said this. They said he speaks with such authority. They didn't say his voice is so deep. They didn't say, you know, he's like a, he's like a he's so strong communicator. He says, he has such an authority in his voice, in his words. But if you look at Jesus' life, I don't think nobody in this earth has ever walked under God's authority to that degree that Jesus did. The Bible says in Philippians, submitted himself to death, even death on the cross. Which tells us, the amount of authority we walk in is consistent with amount of authority we submit under. You cannot come up to Goliath on your own. You have to go through the proper channels. And many of us say, well, my authority is like King Saul. If you come to this church, your authority is not like King Saul. It's you who is like King Saul, then it's Jesus. Well, my parents may not be so godly. David was very wise about the way he handled the authority. People always come up to me and say, how can I have a good relationship with my authority? I mean, how can I have a good relationship with my boss, with my parents, and with my pastors? I'm going to give you one tip. And this tip I learned from David. Authority don't like when you give them orders. They like when you ask permission. Did you notice David didn't come to Saul and said, you're a coward. I'm going to help you out. He didn't give him orders. He said, can I go and fight him? Saul says you can't and if you will go I'm gonna give you my way and David didn't say your way sucks he didn't say your way never worked it doesn't work for you what, what makes you think it's gonna work for me he didn't do that he says I will try he tried his way and he noticed it doesn't work and he says Saul with all due respect I've tried but it doesn't seem to work is it okay if I give that back to you and Saul says go and the Lord be with you and then God comes in if we want to walk in authority, we got to walk under authority. On, to walk under authority, that means you ask permission. Before I get a chance to say yes to my speaking engagements, I ask permission. Before I buy a car, I ask permission. I ask other people's input. Before marrying, I ask other people's input. 
before building or buying or renting a house I asked other people's input that's why less mistakes you will make when you come to people in your life with input instead of coming to them with your decision it bothers me when people come I need to meet with you and so I'm there praying and fasting sometimes that God give me wisdom they come and say hey I just wanted to let you know divorcing my husband I already did it yesterday sign the paper just giving you a heads up before anybody else finds out I was like and why did we meet I could have found that out on Facebook tomorrow or hey I'm just letting you know I'm moving out of church cities I'm letting you know I am doing this why did you to let me know who am I I'm not God and it bothers me because and then people say why am I keep making wrong mistakes because your authority you're, you're telling your authority what you're doing you're not asking for advice how can your authority be of blessing to you when you're never asking them to be a blessing to you don't even bother them just do what you want to do make a mess out of your life and put a sticker on it said I did it by myself but if you want to use the blessing from your father a blessing from your mother a blessing from your pastor you come and you say you know what this is what I want to do I want to hear your input I want to hear your insight I want to have your blessing and then you are writing not only on the wisdom of a 22 year old peanut brain but you're writing on the wisdom of men and women of God who went before you who've experienced certain things and who also taking it from the word of God not only their infatuation or chemical imbalance can somebody say amen